Today I'm going to run you through exactly how to set up a high quality live stream for your band right out of your home studio, including what you need as far as gear for audio and video, how to get it all set up, and if you stick around to the end, we'll talk through some final tips and thoughts that I have that'll help make sure that your live stream goes as smoothly as possible and sounds as good as it can. <laughs> So first things first, you need the space in order to make it happen. My band Shakeout does our live stream podcast out of this 10 by 10 room every week, but fortunately, we're a two-piece band. If we were to have to put more members in here, this space would definitely not work for us. And by no means am I saying that you need some huge elaborate live room to make this sort of thing happen, but you definitely will have to consider how all of your bandmates will be able to either sit or stand in the room and then how you're going to frame it all out in a camera. So if you're feeling good about the space that you have, the first piece of gear that I would highly recommend you invest in is a good computer. If you're looking to make a purchase on a new computer, I highly recommend getting something with a graphics card. Even though some of the new Macs and PCs can do live streams without one, it just makes it a lot easier. But truthfully, if there's anywhere in a setup, even just a home studio setup that I wouldn't cheap out on, it's the computer. Investing in a great computer was the best thing I ever did. It made my life so much better. So the next thing that you're going to need for your live stream setup is some kind of a mixer and an audio interface. It's very important that whatever mixer you buy has to have the correct amount of inputs that you need for your band. If you have two guitar players, a bassist, a drummer, two singers, make sure that you count up all the mics and the inputs that you'll need and that you buy a mixer that can accommodate that. And the reason that I say that is because if you have a preset saved for your live stream, once you get everything sounding great and then you just lock in that preset, it makes it a lot easier to go from stream to stream where you can just kind of pick up your instrument and go live. It also gives you the flexibility to use that same exact mixer for other applications in your studio without having to reset your live stream settings all the time. In my studio, I use the Soundcraft UI24R, but there are more affordable digital mixers out there from like Behringer and Zoom and some other brands, so definitely look into that. As far as audio goes, you're also going to need some kind of audio interface that will accept a stereo signal. We'll get into how everything is set up in the next section of this video, but essentially what you're going to do is you're going to mix your band on the mixer and make it all sound really great, and then you're going to send the stereo out of that mixer into an audio interface, which will then send out a USB signal to your computer. You're also going to, of course, need whatever microphones that you'll need to make this happen in your space. For example, if you're micing up a drum kit, you could mic up every drum, or maybe to start off, you choose to just do two overheads and a kick mic. The same can be said for bass amps, guitars, vocals, etc. This really is a case-by-case -case situation, but in my opinion, the audio for a live stream for a musical project should take some kind of priority. So buy whatever you think you may need to make it sound good, and always remember that you can improve your setup as you get going. Now let's quickly talk about camera gear. If you're just getting started, I would personally recommend you buy one camera that has a wide enough lens that you can capture your whole band. There are a lot of great options out there these days, like USB webcams that connect right to your computer. However, one option that I think is really great is an old GoPro like a Hero 4 plugged into an HDMI to USB video capture card. And the reason I say that is that these old GoPros actually have really wide angle lenses and they also capture some pretty great video. And if you own one of those HDMI to USB capture cards like this one, you can always get a better camera down the line and use that exact same video capture card. Whereas if you buy a USB webcam and you might eventually want to upgrade, you'll have to buy a camera and a capture card. Another great option for cameras though, which are actually the ones that I've been using in my setup recently, are these little Mevo start cameras. They connect to your computer in a variety of different ways, and they also have a stereo audio input. So in reality, if you have one of these, you actually don't need to buy a separate audio interface. You can just send your mixer audio right to the camera. One last thing I want to mention that you may need is some kind of headphone amplifier. You're going to have to figure out how all of your bandmates are going to hear the audio of the stream. They could either hear all of the live audio in the room just straight from the amps and then maybe you can set up like a PA monitor for your vocals. Or you can set up a separate output from the headphone output of your mixer to get to everyone. You just need to make sure that you have enough outputs for each one of your band members, which is where the headphone amp might come into place. <laughs> Okay, so now you have a mixer, an audio interface, some microphones, a camera, and you're ready to go live. Let's discuss exactly how to set this all up. So to start with audio, I would first set up the band in the room however you think you would want to for the performance. Then set up all of your microphones and plug them into your mixer. Then using a set of headphones or studio monitors, mix all of the signals for your band as if you were setting up for a live show. You are essentially just the front of house person for the band at a venue, except for the fact that the audience is no longer at a music venue, they're just in your live chat online. So whatever you mix is going to be sent out to your viewers. Once you're happy with the mix, which may take some time and some tweaking, you're going to send the main stereo outs of your mixer 
into your audio interface so that you can send that full mix into your computer. Now there's a lot of different softwares that you could use to live stream like OBS, Streamlabs, Ecamm, StreamYard, and there's a bunch of others. They all do very similar things, and I would browse through all the options to see what's out there and see what might work best for your situation. But today we're gonna set up an OBS since it is the free one and the one that a lot of people use. But everything we do here in OBS today will be very similar to what you would do in any of those other programs. Okay, so in OBS you have scenes and then you have sources. So if, if you wanted to go right here and just start a new scene, we'll call it uh, My Live Room press OK. And now you have this blank scene. It doesn't have any sources or an audio mixer. It doesn't have anything in it yet. So what we need to do is first, we need to add our camera. So you come into here, you see you have all these different options. Um, you have audio input capture, display capture will capture your screen. Uh, you can add images, you can add videos, you can add text, you can add really whatever you want. But what we're looking to do is add a video capture device and we'll call it uh, my camera. The device that we're going to use is my cam link, uh, which is just my little HDMI to USB video capture device that has my camera plugged into it. And boom, once you do that, you see that the uh, camera source shows up and we're here. So now that we have our camera source all set up, we also have to set up some audio to make sure that our audio is also getting to the stream. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to that plus sign under the sources. You're going to add a source. You're going to add your audio input capture. We'll call it my interface. Okay. And the device you're going to choose is just your audio interface that you have your mixer plugged into. So in my case, it's the HX Stomp XL. So now once you have your audio interface and your camera set up, you pretty much have everything that you need to set up your stream. Um, you're getting video, you're getting audio. So once you have your camera and your audio interface connected, there's a few things you're going to want to do in the preferences or the settings of OBS to make sure that your stream runs smoothly. So the first thing I would do is go to where it says stream and you're going to want to pick where you're going to stream to. So either Twitch or YouTube or Facebook. And then you can just sign into the account once you do that. Next, you're going to want to check out your output. So I always change the output mode to advanced instead of simple. And then you're gonna have to fix a few things. So you're gonna wanna pick which encoder your computer is gonna use. If you have a graphics card, that's definitely what you wanna use. You're gonna change the bit rate, and this all depends on how high of a quality are you trying to stream in. If you're trying to stream in 1080, you're gonna raise the bit rate. If you're gonna stream in 720, you can lower it and so on. And then you could also change your keyframe interval and a few other settings. My best recommendation for this, honestly, is to just look at the settings that the platform you're streaming to wants. If you look online, there will be bitrate settings for both Twitch and YouTube, depending on if you're streaming in 1080 or if you're streaming in 720, but definitely check this stuff out before you start streaming. Another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to video and make sure that you're set up for the right resolution. My recommendation is that you start to stream in 720 and not 1080 and just make sure that your computer can handle it and it all goes well. And then if that works well, then you can up your resolution. So now that you have your stream all set up, let me give you some tips and thoughts that I've learned over the years to make the stream sound better and run just a little bit smoother. The first tip is the smaller your room is, the more you're gonna wanna cut out as much of the room noise as possible to help really control your overall mix. In my home setup, since we're in this 10 by 10 little tiny room, I use an electronic drum set and I also use a Helix for all of my guitar and bass tones. And we also play on in-ears so that really the only live mics in the room are our vocal mics. This makes it so I don't have loud guitar amps and cymbals all in one room with my vocal mics, which allows me to control my overall mix a lot more. Even if you can't completely cut out all the room mix, just trying to separate amps, maybe stick sticking some guitar amps into like a closet or something, and keeping your vocalist pointed away from your drummer can really make a difference when you're in a small space. The other tip I have is more about how to run the stream smoothly. If you're the member of the band that's gonna be on the technical side of things, Make sure that you're kind of at least close enough to the computer that you can get to it during the stream. And I definitely would recommend maybe investing in something like a stream deck or at least having a wireless keyboard and mouse close enough to you so that you can control your computer at all times. There's generally going to be some point in the streams where you're going to have to be on the computer. So if you are the person that is running the streams and you don't have someone outside of your band to do that job, then just make sure that you're close enough to the computer or that you can do whatever you need to do from some hot key buttons elsewhere. Good luck setting up the stream for your band. I hope this video was helpful. Drop any comments below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you want to watch a live stream podcast with a rock band that we do every week. Cheers.